Now, we're used to seeing her tackling the latest beauty trends, but behind the scenes, our beauty expert, Bryony Blake, has been tackling a crippling fear of heights. But when the Speakmans learnt of their colleague's fear, they set upon an intervention, or a, a friend intervention. Yes. Colleague intervention. Very, very, very good. Yeah, to help her escape it. First of all, let's start talking about microneedling. Now, this is this is Briny's this morning's beauty expert, who regularly appears on the show giving her makeup tips. And today, she thinks it's just a normal day in the studio. But in fact, once she finishes, there are two familiar faces waiting for her. We've worked with Briny for quite a few years, and she's told us that she has got the most extreme fear of heights. Having a member of the This Morning family suffering with anything doesn't sit with us at all. So when she finishes in the studio, we're going to take her away and we're going to fix it for her. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good to see you. Nice to see you. You too. What are you doing here? Well, you remember you said that you've got a really bad fear of heights. Yes. And I said one day we'll get you over it. Yes. Today is that day. You're joking. No, no, nope. we've come here to get you over it. Come on. Oh my goodness. The three of them head off to an empty room so Nick and Eva can learn more about Bryony's phobia, which she says she's had since she was 10 years old. Fear of heights. I know you've talked about it with us yeah. um, and told us that it's really bad, but really, how bad is it? Well, when you say it like that, people often think it doesn't actually affect you in everyday life, but it actually does affect me a lot. And it affects my work life as well, which can be really embarrassing sometimes. When it was the This Morning Wedding, yeah. what happened then? Well, see, when they told me it was on the shard, I it instantly my stomach dropped. I couldn't even sit with the rest of the TM family. I had to stand by the middle central bit. Awful, literally. I was like, just let this be over. Bryony's phobia is really affecting her life. But before the Speakmans can give her therapy, they need to see just how severe her anxiety is. So they take her to the top floor balcony of the building. On a scale of zero to ten, where are you? About an eight. Oh, you're an eight here. Really? Yeah. She is so petrified, she struggles to stand close to the edge. Not really, I don't really want to look any further down. It feels very strange. She's scared now. But she's about to feel even more shaken as Nick and Eva tell her what they hope she will do by the end of the day. We would like to take you to the O2 Arena. Oh my God, absolutely, under no so and climb that roof. Mm -hmm. Just the thought of it is making Bryony emotional. I'm sorry, we don't mean to upset you. <laughs> we just want you to be free of it. I really want to be free of it. I mean, it would be like the most amazing thing on the planet. It's clear she desperately needs therapy. So I'm actually quite nervous about going into therapy just because you don't know what anybody's going to ask you. And also, because they've got such a great success rate, you kind of also feel responsibility because they're my friends. I don't want to be the one person that they fail at. This is something she started as a child and she's behaving like a child. She really needs to have this knocked out of her and I just hope it doesn't come between our friendship. Our job today is to find out what started it, what did you perceive, what did you believe to look at it from an adult's perspective and then you can start rationalising with, with it. The Speakmans have a breakthrough when she remembers a story her mum told her about when Bryony and her brother were younger and went for a walk. There was a pathway and she went on the lower path and I took my brother up onto the higher path. And she said, and I literally just got halfway through and I just stopped and I just couldn't move either way. Well, let me ask you another question. Yeah. If yeah. your mum was sort of out of sight or at a distance, how would, how would that have made you feel? There have been times in my life where I've lost my brother and I've been in charge of him, and that's been horrific, because you have that fear of losing right. someone. If you get in a heightened state of fear, yeah. then your brain goes, right, OK, I don't want to feel like this. Mm. What's caused it? And where were you in relation to your mum? I was up high. Yeah? Yeah. So what would you blame? The height. But what did the heights do? Nothing. I think because they're being quite brutal and harsh and a bit honest with things, and it kind of does make you sit up and question things that you've always thought that were kind of really normal in your life. Before we started therapy, I thought, going up the O2, a bit of a step too far, but actually I'm feeling we might be able to do it. Let's see if the therapy has worked. The building is 52 metres high. The height of 12 double-decker buses. Is Bryony going to face her fear and climb it? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, well, so am I. I've not been over here but, before. But I'm not crying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you woke up this morning, 
Really? Did you think that you might be walking <laughs> up the O2? No. She does it. A huge achievement. Hard to believe only a few hours earlier. Just the thought of being this high made Bryony cry. I can't believe I did that, honestly. I'm shocked. But you, after 20 years of fearing heights, you have made it to the top. I can't believe it. Of the O2! I'm in group four! Higher, higher, higher. You guys are whizzing! <laughs> wow. Incredible. Isn't They're amazing. Isn't brilliantly? Yeah. So, so good. Well done, Bryony. And that's not where it ends, because we're very happy to say that due to the Speakman's help, Bryony is now on top of the world, or, in her case, at the top of the Alps. Look at that. That is a that great That is a shot. beautiful photo, isn't it? Uh, you see, they are quite Is that amazing. on green screen? As she just <laughs> We do work in telly. We can arrange these things, I'm sure. I'm led to believe that it is absolutely <laughs> true.